Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Premiere Gal. A few weeks back, I started a series on this channel showing you how to use the essential graphics panel inside of Adobe After Effects, how to build your own motion graphics templates and use them in Premiere Pro. And one of you guys asked me to actually show you how to turn an Envato Markets Video Hive After Effects template into a Mogart file, specifically a transitions template. So I purchased this template called transitions. It features 35 different clean transitions. Let me show you the preview here. And basically I'm going to show you how you can turn this into a Mogart where you can control the color, customize it inside of Premiere Pro without having to go back in between After Effects and Premiere Pro to streamline your workflow and ultimately speed it up. So if you want to, you can download this and follow along. If not, just follow along so you can learn how to do this once you're ready to purchase a template. So after you download this, you will get a project that's zipped that looks like this. And after you unzip this, it'll have a folder and it will have a CS 5.5 After Effects project file as well as a CC project file. So let's go ahead and open up the AEP file and I have it here open. And you will see that inside the project panel, there are all these different sets and there are a variety of different transitions that you can use. And the designer of this template made it super easy. All you have to do is drop in your media one and media two here, and then you can edit these transitions inside of After Effects. But what if you don't wanna to have to keep going back into After Effects and re-exporting each clip to then send over to Premiere Pro? So the way to do this is actually to get rid of these media inputs here. So I'm just gonna turn the eyes off these media inputs here. And we're actually going to use the Essential Graphics panel. And this is building on the series that I've been doing on Essential Graphics and After Effects. So if you haven't watched those, I'd encourage you guys to watch those so you're up to date on everything Essential Graphics and After Effects. So for the sake of this tutorial there, are 35 different transitions in this template, but I'm just going to put in four to show you how to do it. And I really liked number seven, number eight, and number nine. So I'm gonna open those up to show those to you. So number seven here, wipes left to right. Number eight, wipes right to left like this. And number nine is right to left completely horizontally. And this is the opposite, number 10. So how do we put these transitions into the Essential Graphics panel? So first, what we need to do is actually just close these two compositions here, the media compositions, because we do not need them. And we're going to create a new composition by clicking on this icon, and we're gonna call it Master, because we need to create a master template that everything will go inside of. And because these transitions are short, I'm just going to make the duration of this composition three seconds and keep it at 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. So now we have the master composition. If you do not have the Essential Graphics panel open, go up to Window and go to Essential Graphics. Now here we're going to select the master composition. So find it down here. You can see how many compositions there are. Find master. And now we can call this transitions. So from here, what I'm going to do is actually go back up here to the project panel and drop in number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10 into the master because we want all of these compositions to be within the master because everything we put in the essential graphics has to be within the master composition. So we can actually close these off for now. And the first step is to sort of organize our template. So I'm gonna add a comment here. I'm gonna call it transition one. And then I'll add a space. This is just for organization and I'll make one for number two, add another comment, delete the comment to make a blank space, transition three, add a comment for a blank space, and transition four. You can name these anything that you want. I'm just keeping it with the basics here. It doesn't have to be the same as the composition seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, because we're only choosing four, it can be anything that we want. So the next step is to create checkbox controls so we can tell the motion graphics template we only want one showing at a time. So when we're in Premiere Pro, we can isolate one transition and just use that inside of our timeline. 
So to do that, we're going to select all these compositions by just clicking one, hitting shift and selecting the last one to select them all. Then you're going to go up to the effect and search for checkbox controls and double click to apply it to all of these, okay? So what we have to do here is link the checkbox control with the opacity, okay? And I went over this in previous lessons, so I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly. Let's start with the first one here. Open up effects and transform. You're going to alt option click on the stopwatch for opacity, pick whip it to the checkbox, and then you're going to times it by 100. And then you can drag and drop the checkbox up here and we will call this turn on slash off. Okay, same with number eight. Let's alt option click on opacity, open up effects and pick whip this to checkbox, times it by 100. And you're going to drag and drop this under transition two and also call it turn on slash off. Same with number nine, let's open these up. Alt option click, pick whip to checkbox, times 100. And now we're going to drag this checkbox, turn on slash off. And the last one here, let's toggle down the checkbox, alt option click on opacity, pick whip it to checkbox, and times it by 100. And now we need to drag this one up and call it turn on slash off. Now the reason why we did this now is because now we can turn one on and off. You can see that now the first one's on, we can turn that off. Now we can turn on transition two or turn it off, or we can turn on transition three, turn it off, or we can turn on transition four or turn it off. And the last thing that I wanna do is we wanna be able to control color. So I can add a color control for each of these transitions. And to do that, there was already a color control added by the designer of this template. So if I double click on number seven here, you can see that there's a color control called change color. If you hit E, it'll show you what effect is on that layer. And I'm going to drag this color control underneath transition one, all right? And I'm gonna do the same for number eight. and I'm going to drag this to number two. Same with number nine. Drag this color up into the essential graphics panel. And lastly, for number 10, let's do the same thing. Effects, color, and let's drag this under number four. And so now the reason why this is super cool is we, if we go back to master, and we turn on transition one, let's say we want the blues here to be, let's say, purple color. You can do that, like a pinkish purple color, and it changes. And let's turn that off, and now with transition two, let's say we want this to be yellow. We can change that to yellow, and let's make transition three a green color. Okay, and let's make this also kind of a darker-ish blue. All right, so now once we export this, we can of course change the colors inside of Premiere Pro. But to do this, to export this to Premiere Pro's Essential Graphics panel, just select Export Motion Graphics Template at the bottom, hit Save, and of course it'll ask you to save it as a converted project file, and I'm going to hit Save into this same folder, that it originally was in. And then it will ask you, where do you wanna export your motion graphics template file? I'm just going to select essential graphics panel and hit okay. And then because I had exported this before, I'm just going to hit replace. And now I'm going to go to my Premiere Pro project, open up Premiere Pro. So here is this opening New York sequence that you saw in the intro of this tutorial. And you can see that they're in color. Well, to change that, I actually added an adjustment layer and I applied the Lumetri color panel to it. So you can see if I just drag that on top there, select it, then over here in Lumetri color under creative, what I did was just select monochrome Fuji Eterna and now it's in black and white. See that? 
just with one click. If I turn this off, you can see it's in color below the whole sequence. So what I did was actually add the transitions between these clips, right? So if I go to my essential graphics panel, if you don't know where this is, you go up to window, essential graphics, and if you go to browse, you will see that the transitions that we exported is now here. If you change this to the thumbnail view, you can see it even better. So if I wanted to apply this first transition here, I would just click and drag. And boom, here it is dropped in here. You can trim it. You can just roll this back to trim it. And what's great is that here you can say, oh, I don't want the green one. I want to turn on the pink purple one first and turn off the green one. And I can also change the color here if I don't like this color. So I can change it to like an orange color if I wanted to. And so what's great is you can have this transition now easily in Premiere Pro. And if you want to duplicate it, just hit Alt Option, click and drag and place it between these two other clips here. See, transitioning from the close up bridge then to the wide shot of the bridge, select it and choose, let's say the blue one. Again, Alt Option, click, drag it to place it strategically between the Brooklyn Bridge shot and the aerial view shot. And I can select this, go back up to essential graphics and let's, and let's say we want it to be the green one now. So you see how easy that is? And then lastly, we can Alt Option click and let's choose the yellow one now, which is pretty cool. And we can also Alt click Option and drag again for the last one where it goes to my logo. So it goes from downtown to logo. And if you wanna have two at the same time, you can try that out too. Looks kinda of cool. Um, let's change this to be purple. So now we have two crisscrossing like that, which is pretty cool. And of course, if you wanted to have text underneath, you can do that as well. If you see my final intro here, you can see that I actually created text underneath. I just moved the transitions up to video layer four and added text using my essential graphics panel using just the type tool. And I wrote clean transitions and I made one called motion graphics template and one for the tutorial text. Um, and I added a universe transition to kind of make it swish. See that sort of swish transition. This is actually a plugin called Universe and it's a pretty sweet transition. I use it a ton in a lot of client projects and it just creates a nice, let me turn off the transition layer four up here so you can see it just creates a nice swish pan transition between the two texts, right? But if you don't have access to, you know, purchasing Universe, you can also just use a basic wipe transition. So if you search wipe, Premiere Pro comes with a built-in wipe transition. Um, it's not as cool as the Swish, but it's there. And so this is how you can turn your After Effects projects into Premiere Pro motion graphics templates that you can use over and over again. It's pretty easy to do and you can do it to any template that you get from Envato. Thanks again for watching you guys. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new tutorials every week. I'll see you guys for a What Wednesday video tomorrow. And I will also see you on Friday for another Friday effects tutorial. Thanks again and I'll see you all soon. Bye.